We're saving perhaps the strangest car for last with these Gran Turismo 7 April update car reviews, because this time we're taking a look at the 2024 Afila prototype, a brand formed from the collaboration of Honda and Sony, and now by extension, the Polyphony Digital Game Studio that makes Gran Turismo. Because the company is using Gran Turismo for potential customers to try out this car before it actually hits the market, so, the car is actually free to buy in-game from Brand Central. But what is an Afila when it's at home? Well, it's an all-electric vehicle with dual motors, meaning 482 horsepower and all-wheel drive. Strangely, the game doesn't tell you this, but you can work it out. As you can, it's hefty 2,350kg curb weight. This should be a pretty simple review. Because firstly, you can't really do anything with the car in terms of performance upgrades or visual mods. You can change the wheels and tyres, and have some fun with the livery editor, but that's about it. Secondly, it's unsurprisingly quite dull. I'll preface the rest of this review by saying that honestly, that the most interesting or quirky thing about this car is the slightly handsy name of the company that built it. Doesn't exactly bode well for the upcoming police version, the Copper Feeler. Anyway, how does the car perform? Well, in a word, adequately. In this video you'll see it racing in a couple rounds of the Japanese Club and Cup 550, and it does a decent job, but it's so hard to say anything superlative about the car. Acceleration is quick enough, but the curve just feels flat. It doesn't launch with the ferocity of some electric cars, but nor does it seem to tail off considerably at higher speeds until it gets near its top speed of about 145. Through the corners, it remains composed and the back end stays in line. It carries a fair bit of speed through the corners, and to its credit deals with the curbs very well, but at slower speeds, you really do feel the weight. The strangest thing though is how quiet it is. And before you all start saying duh, that is by EV standards. It's eerie. You have to be driving the car in cabin view to hear anything at all, which is a bit disconcerting when trying to judge your speed and inputs on a fast lap. Speaking of which, it's time to set a lap at our benchmark circuit at Road Atlanta. The Afila comes in at 546 performance points, so around the same level as a Toyota GR Supra, and about 30 points down on the Tesla Model 3 performance, which is probably its nearest competitor in-game. It drove silently and, as expected, to a time of 1 minute 32.56 seconds. Respectable, but a long way off the Model 3. And that's the weird dichotomy at play here. The company is using Gran Turismo as a testbed, but who in their right minds would actually take this 2.4 ton blob racing? The answer is me in this video, but shh. I'm not exactly what you'd call normal. And on that strange note, thank you very much for watching and have a good day.